Jen and DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing an upper body flexibility routine. So for this routine, we're going to be doing 16 exercises in total, and we're going to be doing them all in a row. We're going to do one set of each exercise. Our working time is 60 seconds, our break time is 10 seconds, and there are no extended breaks. If you like this routine, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to join the community at thechiefpeak.com. Let's get to stretching. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness tracking watch and you want to start a workout now, be sure to do so. Our first exercise we're going into is neck rolls. And FYI, Bruce is extremely excited today for whatever reason, so there's that. All right, so neck rolls, we're literally just going to roll our neck back and forth nice and slow to help loosen it up. Here we go. Nice and slow. If you find a little spot, you can just kind of hang out on it. Stretch it out. Find all those tight spots. You can go back and forth. You can even use your hand to kind of help pull down if you want. Not too hard. We're not trying to strain the neck or the muscles. Just give a little extra stretch here. There you go. If you want, I sometimes like to put my hand behind my back and then kind of stretch it the other way. I really feel it stretch out in my traps as well. Bruce, what are you doing? Oh, you gotta sneeze. There we go, about 15 seconds left. Just keep stretching it out. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Right, we're gonna spread our legs out here and then get them a little bit wider than shoulder width. And then we're just literally going to go side to side, stretching out the sides. Here we go. Give it a good stretch. Come back to the other side. Again, this is kind of a go at your own pace. Stretch it out. Don't forget to breathe. Come back up. If you want to hang out on one side for 30 seconds, really stretch it out. You can do that. You can put both hands up. You can have no hands up. Go. <laughs> At the same time. There we go. 20 seconds left. Keep it lean forward just a little bit. Feel it start to kind of stretch out the back. Couple seconds left. There we go. All right, so next we're going into a Jefferson curl. So it's a slow roll forward that we're going to be doing. We're going to go down and touch the ground. We're almost trying to go like vertebrae by vertebrae going down. So it is nice and slow, kind of roll the shoulders. I like to keep my hands pretty much on the front of my legs and just slowly feel everything start to curl over, come down nice and slow. It's similar to a good morning. We're just going a little bit slower and trying to focus on rolling the entire back. Come down, feel the back, stretch out, come down as far as you can. Come back up again, nice and slow. As you come up, feel it start to straighten out vertebrae by, ver by vertebrae. There we go. Oh, there's some cracking going on. There we go. Nice and slow. Feel it stretch out. You can also do this weighted if you have like a dumbbell or something with a couple pounds. That'll probably feel really good too. Back up. There we go. So next we're going to go into trunk circle. So again, feet wide and we're going to move the trunk. We're just going to perform a circle here. So you can start on whichever side you want. Come forward, feel the lower back stretch out, come to the side, feel the obliques, go back, feel the abdomen stretch out, the hips are going to stretch out some, there we go, don't mind the kids, if you can hear them, if you want to stop, if you kind of feel somewhere that's maybe a little tight from working out or something, you can just kind of hang out there, sit there for a second, let it stretch, put a little more emphasis on it. Come around. 
I feel like just in front of my legs. I'm leaning that way, the lower back. Oh man, that feels great. Good. There we go. All right, so we're gonna drop down to the ground for the next one, a supine twist. It's pretty much like windshield wipers or half moons if you're doing abs. So legs straight up, arms out to the side. We're gonna drop down to one side, <laughs> if you can. And then we're just gonna hang out there and let the side stretch. If you want, you could also do this with your knees bent at a 90. Come to the side. We're trying to keep the upper body facing straight up here and allow it to stretch at the back and side. Yep, sure, Bruce. Be all of them away. Yep. Mm -hmm. For sure. Absolutely. Yep, get in my way. Don't forget to breathe. If you want, you can even bring that top leg up and really feel it stretch out. Oh, Jesus. Bruce, come on, man. Okay, boy. I get more. Bruce. <laughs> he's made his home here. There we go. Good news is he's holding my upper body down. There we go. Alright, next we're going into Cobra Pose. So we're going to flip over onto our stomach. Calm down. I told you he's in play mode. Here we go. So come up. Get right here. Feel the abs. Try to sink the hips down. Bruce, go. Okay. Nope, maybe not. Just kidding. <laughs> if this is a little too tough, maybe hold yourself. You could also do like more of a sphinx right here and have your elbows down. Lift that head up like Jen's doing. Stretch out the abs. Oh. Don't forget to breathe. I'm going to try to keep those hips on the ground here. Slowly kind of relax the lower back, get deeper into the stretch. Five seconds left. There we go. So next we're gonna go into a downward dog, but we don't have to keep our legs straight here. We're trying to really focus on stretching the lats and shoulders out. So we're gonna get up into it right here. We're gonna to try to drive our shoulders down. Right here like this. We don't have to have our legs straight working the calves. You can if you want. And what I like to do is kind of Lean to one side and really try to stretch it out for five or ten seconds. Lean to the other side, stretch it out. Here we go. Really keep trying to drive those shoulders down. Don't forget to breathe. If you have to take a break, that's fine. Just drop down to your knees. You can actually perform this on your knees too if you wanted, but we're gonna be doing that in a little bit, I believe. There we go. There we go. All right, so next we're gonna drop back over to our butt again. We're gonna do seated shoulder extensions. Our fingertips are gonna be facing forward. So put them by your side. Fingers forward, arms straight, chest out, back straight, and then slowly scoot your butt away from your hands. You can kind of rock it back and forth. Make sure to keep your, your abdomen and back and everything nice and straight. We don't want to be sinking like this because that's taking the stretch off the shoulders. So we try to kind of push that chest out and you'll feel it stretch everything even more. Try to keep the arms nice and straight here. What I like to do is Start to feel it stretch, give it 10, 15 seconds, and then just try to stretch just a little further. So it's kind of hold, allow it to release, and then extend a little further, allow it to release, and then just keep repeating that. There we go, a couple seconds. Stretch it out, stretch, stretch, stretch. There we go. So we're going to pretty much be doing the same thing, except now our uh, fingertips are going to be facing backwards. So seated 
shoulder extension, fingers facing backwards. And then you can go, if you want during this, you can actually kind of keep your hands a little bit wider apart. Push that chest out and you're going to feel it a lot more in the chest here. But it's important to still keep the back nice and straight. You're not slouching down and just hanging out like that. Bruce, Bruce doesn't realize he can walk through that. Go, Bruce. Go. Oh, not He's that. like, play? Not yeah, I can do that all go day. Go over there. <laughs> okay. Sit, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you want to have a staring contest? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Oh, no, don't lick me. You're disgusting. This really helps for that slouch, mm -hmm. relaxed yep. stance usually people yeah. have. Keep stretching. There we go. All right, so we're going to go into the chest stretch. I'm going to do it on the ground. Jen is going to do it standing up against the wall. You can also do it on the inside of a door frame. So I'm going to lay down on my stomach, left arm out at a 90, and then I'm going to use my right arm to push me away from it and try to stretch it. Try to keep the shoulder on the ground when you're doing this because when we stand up too high, what happens is that that ball, the joint starts to push forward and we're just stressing the joint unnecessarily. It is to actually stretch the chest and you can move your arm up and down to see where it's best for you, where you get the best stretch at. Bruce, come here. You're making so much noise. Oh, go. Oh, 100 pound teddy bear over here. Oh. Stop licking me. You're making it weird. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. the arm I kind of put it up a little higher and feel it stretch out so we're just gonna switch sides here go to the right side and then push away again there we go it may help when you're doing this I have to look up to kind of see the camera but it may help when you're doing this just to put your head down and that way you're not stressing the shoulder joint because when you do look up, it's going to force that joint out. There we go. Again, you can move the arm up and down, see where you get the best stretch out or what part of the chest might need a little more. Oh, that's the spot right there today. There we go. Just about 10 seconds left. There we go. So next we're gonna go into a back stretch. So I'm gonna take my left arm, put it up under. Jen's gonna just put hers across. She's gonna stay standing. Something like this and just slowly start to roll over onto the arm, trying to keep the elbow straight. And so just slowly roll and you'll begin to feel it start to stretch out right in between your shoulder blades, maybe even a little up your neck. You don't have to completely roll onto it. See when the elbow starts to bend, you're not really getting any stretch. So I'm going to keep that elbow nice and straight, roll over onto it. And you can also move kind of where your arm is. Maybe it's a little higher, maybe it's a little lower. Kind of play with it and see where you get the best stretch at. And then you can just hold it from there. Don't forget to breathe. Remember this is active stretching, so we're not just hanging out doing nothing. We're focusing on stretching the muscle, stretching it a little bit, letting it relax, and then stretch it a little more. There we go. So we're just switching sides here. Put the other one under. And roll it on. go don't forget to breathe there we 
Oh my god. And this side of my back is way more tense. I'm just on the opposite. Are you? Yeah. Weird. Because that's both our opposite hand. That the yeah. left hand and your right hand is. What's next? <laughs> Child's pose. Oh, Bruce's big head's in the way. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so next, we're going to go into child's pose. So we're going to sit here on all fours and then put our hands out and just kind of sink back into it. There we go. Again, stretching the lat through the shoulder. Again, some tricep stretch here. And what I like to do is just kind of lean to one side. Put a little more pressure on it. Really stretch it out. Give it five, ten seconds on that side. And then go to the other side. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Feel that lower back stretch out. And also kind of use the hands to kind of push you deeper into this. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Remember active stretching. We're not just sitting here doing nothing. We're trying to stretch. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> Bruce is back. There we go. All right, so next we're going to go into bicep stretches. You're going to do your standing yeah. again? Okay. So. What I'm gonna do for on the ground is we're gonna put our uh, fingertips facing our knee, and then from here, we're just gonna extend out and try to open the chest. Just like that, and you should feel it. Everything stretch, forearm, bicep, everything's gonna begin to stretch out. Go into this nice and easy, because it'll, you'll feel the pain in your bicep. It starts stretching real quick. I'm just gonna... Hang out here and after 30 seconds, so just a second, we're gonna switch sides. Here we go, switch sides. Open up, feel it stretch, nice and easy. And once you feel it start to stretch, you can slowly begin to go a little deeper into the stretch. It's so weird the way it stretches out that bicep. Mm -hmm. Turn this on. It's my forearms get a massive stretch. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna do pancake with a slow roll. So pancake, we're gonna have our feet out, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slowly roll to the side, and then go up and over, feeling that lower back, over to the side. This is also gonna stretch your hamstrings out, but it's quite possibly one of my favorite stretches, so I wanted to throw it in there. Lean to the side, really lean. Sometimes what I like to do is actually take my left hand, put it on the outside of my right, and then kind of pull, and you'll feel everything in the back start to stretch. You can also go to the inside, it doesn't matter, outside, inside. Kind of, so I'll do this like this, and then I'll start to almost open my chest up, and you'll really feel it start to stretch out in the back and on the side. Roll it over, stretch that lower back, come over, and then try to open it up. There we go. Upper body flexibility routine complete, but not without Bruce going crazy. <laughs> All right, hope you guys enjoyed this flexibility routine. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to join the community at achievepeak.com. See you guys.